Hi everybody, this is Virtual Abdo for the Sephardic Community Center Lessons at the Center series. I'm here to talk today about the guitar, tell you a little bit about it, and give you some elementary exercises and chords to play. Guitar is a wonderful instrument. It is the preferred instrument for rock and roll and folk music, and it can be changed and tuned so that you can pretty much play any kind of music on the guitar. You can play Hebrew music, Arabic music, anything you can think of. What's wonderful about the instrument is that it's lightweight, inexpensive, portable, and changeable. When I say that, I mean you can tune it, retune it, and reconfigure it in many different ways. Guitars are like dogs. They come in many different varieties, small ones, big ones. This is an acoustic guitar. This over here to my left is an electric guitar that uses an amplifier to produce sound. As such, this is an acoustic guitar that produces sound in this sound box with a sound hole. A couple of things about the guitar, these are the tuners, the head of the guitar, the neck, the sound box, the sound hole, this is a bridge like the Verrazano bridge, and this is the nut, N-U-T, like peanuts, cashew nuts, coconuts, the nut. Most importantly, this is the neck of the guitar, these are the strings. And these are called frets. These metal bars that go across the neck are called frets. What they do is allow the string to be changed so that you can change the pitch of the string. I'm going to give you a couple of elementary exercises that are easy to do. Uh, the first one is a string exercise. The strings, the skinniest strings, are numbered one. And as they increase in width, the increase in number, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and here's the exercise. You take the pick. Technical name for this pick is called plectrum, but in 50 years of playing, I never heard anybody call it that, except in the method book. A pick, P-I-C-K. Okay, here we go. You take the pick over the sound hole, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, six, six. You can vary that and play a little game and have somebody say, okay, play me one, two, three. Play me six, five, four. Play me one, three, five. Play me two, four, six. And that way you can memorize the numbers of the guitar. It's a string number exercise. Another easy exercise is a string name exercise. Strings have names too, like the notes on a piano. <clears throat> except they're not consecutively named. They are named E, A, D, G, B, E. And you can uh, recite a funny little phrase while you pick these notes. Elvis ate dynamite. Goodbye, Elvis. Or anybody whose name starts with an E. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. What those words are, are simply words that start in the letters of the, of the uh, string names. E, A, D, G, B, E. It's good to be able to do that and memorize the string names. Later we can do things like spell words with the names B, B, E, E, or egg, E, G, G, things like that. That's a good, helpful, nice little uh, game that will help you memorize the names of the strings. Next exercise, nice, easy, O one, O one, O one. This is exercising your first finger, getting a feel on how to play a finger on a fret. O one, O one, O one, O one, and then you can do the same thing on the second string. O one, O one, O one, O one, etc. and so forth. Okay, that'll get your fingers to know where to go on their own. What we're shooting for here is muscle memory of the fingers and coordination of the hands. The last thing I'm gonna show you was a chord, and we'll play a couple of elementary songs. Thumb on the sixth string, third fret, third finger, first string, third fret. This is a G chord. The way to exercise it is by going one, two, three, four, G, 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 G. Here's an elementary song that you can play with G. Oh, 
that's one. Here's another one. Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech, Hashem Yimloch, Le'olam Ba'ed. You can take that one G chord, turn it into many, many different songs with a little imagination. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson. Individual lessons and group lessons will be available once the center reopens. However, we will be offering online lessons through Skype, Zoom, and FaceTime starting on Monday. If you have any questions about this lesson, you're welcome to call me at 732-241-5550. Also, if you would like to discuss a, a lessons either online or in person going forward, you're welcome to call me again. The number is 732-241-5550. Thank you for tuning in. Have fun, and please be safe. Thank you.